When you consider the subject of cordless vacuum cleaners, the name Dyson immediately springs to mind. But their top-of-the-line V11 model can cost up to £600, so I wanted to find out what a more wallet-friendly 250 quid could bag me in the world of cord-free vacs. To find out which budget cordless cleaner is the best, I'm visiting Deputy Manager Kirsten at the RSPCA's Blockfen Animal Centre, along with her dog, Gadget. This is Gadget. Yeah. Dog called Gadget. Yeah, it is Gadget. <laughs> right. He's lovely. He looks very hairy. He is very hairy, yeah. Mm, I mean, but that hair could be jolly useful as we're testing cordless vacuum cleaners. I'll call a puppet mm. there for you. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> We'll be testing three cordless vacs to the max using Gadget's dog hair. The Henry Cordless, the G-Tech Air Ram Mark II and the Bosch Flexo Cordless. First, an extreme cleaning test. Right, in these bowls we've got 200 grams each of uh, perfect vacuum cleaner testing material. 80 grams of rice, 80 grams of chilli flakes and 25 grams of pumpkin seeds, plus, of course, the all-important 15 grams of dog hair. I shall put the carpet out on the floor. We're giving each cordless vacuum a minute to clean identical off-cuts of carpet. I'm starting with the Henry. Go. The Henry Cordless has a six-litre capacity, which is the largest on test, and a Tritex three-layer filter to keep the dust trapped inside. You can select low or high power mode, depending on your needs. I think it's looking OK. Stop. The Henry gets the job done without any fuss. Next up, it's the G-Tech Air Ram Mark II. This has a smaller 0.8-litre capacity and features a motorised floor head to really give your carpets a deep clean. Oh, look! Oh! Ah! Disaster! The dense dog hair has wrapped itself around the motorised drum and jammed it solid. With no separate attachments to rely on, the mess on this carpet's going nowhere. No, 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 no. Just well, clogged up. Yeah. So the GTEC fails to finish the test within the minute. Can the Bosch do any better? Wow! The Bosch Flexo Cordless has the smallest capacity here at just 0.6 litres. It has two power levels and a nifty handheld mode for those hard to get at areas. Yes! Despite the Bosch's party trick, the limited dust capacity scuppers its chances. And stop. Oh. Looks a bit full. Yes. It certainly wasn't getting any more in, was no, it? No, definitely not. Ugh. So, Henry's tail is well and truly wagging after test one, being the only cordless to complete this extreme cleaning test. On to test two, battery life. The batteries on the latest cordless vacuums are much improved over earlier models. To test them, I'm going to go walkies with Kirsten, Gadget and Fiona. Each vac has been fully charged and switched to its highest setting. I'll be keeping a beady eye on them as they come out for walkies. Will any of them outlast the pooches? Well, I've done some things in my time but never walked hoovers. <laughs> The Bosch has the longest charge time on test, five hours, but claims a marathon 55 minutes runtime on low power and around half that when cranked up. But after just 17 minutes, it gave up, followed not long after by the Henry. Henry stopped, which takes around three and a half hours to charge. We're about uh, 25 minutes in. But after failing to impress in our suction test, the GTEC is powering out of the doghouse. It stopped. The GTEC has stopped. It's coming in at just over 49 minutes. Would that be good enough for you? Yeah, that is pretty impressive time-wise, definitely. And with walkies over, it's time for the final test. Over. Good, boy. Good old Gadget is particularly agile, but can the same be said for our three vacs yeah. as they seek out the corners and crevices of our living room assault course? Cue more hair and spilt doggy biscuits. Let's go find some nooks and crannies. First up, Henry. His hose may have cleaned up in our suction test, but the supplied attachments were found rather lacking. Yeah. Oh, now I'm bunged up. Oh, no. It's too ambitious. And the main head struggled to pick up dog biscuits on the hard floor. Yeah, I think we're just sort of moving everything around. 
making better progress with just the bare end of the nozzle. Uh, yes, oh yes, deals it very quickly. I know it's not a good job to do, but it's not supposed to be difficult, and I felt I was doing a bit more than the Hoover. Ah. Next up, it's the G-Tech. Now, this G-Tech has no tools. All you've got is what you've got. Weighing just three and a half kilograms compared to Henry's six, it's easier to move around. And thanks to its strip of LEDs, it's easy to track down dust and dirt in hard-to-reach places. It's really good under the table. Though a lack of attachments means cleaning the sofa is somewhat impractical. What are your general feelings on it compared to the Henry? It was better to pick up the biscuits, a lot better. Yeah. But not practical because there's no attachment. Uh, tricky, isn't it? You almost need that and another yeah. cleaner as well. Definitely. Mm. Finally, it's the turn of the Bosch. The featherweight of the group comes with a flexible nozzle, making light work of getting around our course. I like the way the, the bottom swivels round. Yeah. It's very manoeuvrable in that sense. Its capacity to perform, however, is short-lived. Don't tell me it's full up already. Yeah, I'd say it is. But after a trip to the bin, we're back in action. On the plus side, the Bosch's detachable handheld mode makes it easy to lap up debris from down the back of the sofa. Oh, yeah, I'm liking that. Though making constant trips to the bin quickly becomes tedious. I've lost my nozzle. Ah! Oh. The nose. That's broke it. <laughs> Did I see that right, John? You took some hoovers for a walk. Well, strictly speaking, I took some vacuum cleaners for a walk, Craig, although I accept that hoovers become the generic term, largely because Hoover, the brand, was so dominant in the early years of vacuum cleaning that it became synonymous with that particular domestic chore and the machines designed to perform the task. Why did I ask? <laughs> yes. <laughs> anyway, what's the verdict? Well, well I think overall the G-Tech was the best of the bunch, though it does have some flaws, in particular that lack of attachments. I mean, Kirsten said she'd buy one if only it came with some attachments. You can solve the problem a bit if you buy an additional G-Tech handheld vacuum cleaner, but that costs another £170, but it is an option. Well, thank you, John. <laughs> <laughs>